boy, it is December of 2023, and look what has come out. Pachinko, pachinko, pachinko! I have not touched this thing in months and months and months. So, I do have a little bit of video footage stored up. We're gonna go back in time a little bit. We're gonna watch some old footage. We're going to refresh ourselves on this pachinko and we're gonna get back to work. Things have changed though a little bit. We're moving, so although I'm into my pachinko season, I'm pretty busy at the same time, but I'm sure we're gonna make a little bit of time for this. Ooh wee, pachinko, pachinko, look all the dust on there. Been sitting for months and months and months. Here we go. We're back to work on our pachinko. So as per usual, I started out at my local dollar store before I was gonna go to Home Depot. Our objectives are to fabricate a new uh, ball bin or ball hopper up here, as well as the lifter mechanism or the ball feeder, whatever, for our fever mode. I found something at the dollar store that saved the trip to Home Depot. And this is gonna be our new ball hopper much bigger than the last one again. So this thing's gonna be able to hold thousands of balls. It's gonna be able to hold more balls than we're gonna need. And you will be able to run it without an elevator potentially if you want to. Um, the idea with this is that if you don't wanna be moving to the back of the machine and continually loading balls up, that's why you buy a ball recycler or a ball lifter. But if you are able to hold enough balls in capacity that the player can actually level up through your gameplay if that's the way you're going with your gameplay and your pachinko. This should be able to hold enough balls to get the job done. So as we've, as we've discussed in previous videos, on this machine you're going to win when you've got that 700 plus balls in your possession. The machine's going to know and it's going to let you know that you won. So you add up that 700 balls it's going to take, plus the potentially thousands of balls you're going to cycle through before you are able to achieve that, is why you either need a huge ball capacity for a game like this, or you need the lifter system, or even maybe a little bit of both, but it all depends on your gameplay. So. The new ball hopper, I got some hooks mounted onto it and it's gonna be, again, just a quick attach, just like anything else. It's gonna slide in here and I'm just working on the back side right now to get an arm or a bracket to hold the back side and we continue development. All right, first crack at it here. I like the pan, I like the hopper, whatever. It's gonna work. I added a small piece there to help guide the balls instead of having a bunch of tape around and stuff to keep the balls from leaking out. I'm happy with that as well. It's gonna work, it was just two screws. I'm not happy with this bracket though so far. So this has to be better. It droops a little bit. And in finalizing my uh, design here, what we're gonna do with the ball elevator and the second elevator now. So here's the plan. The plan is that I gotta change around the top of this elevator a little bit. Instead of facing towards the machine again, as the ball feeds out here, I'm gonna cut that curve off in half and it's gonna feed right into this hopper up top right there. At the same time, I'm going to be adding the second elevator as our fever mode elevator. So here's how it's gonna work. It is literally going to be a marble run slide into the feeder of the pachinko. And I'm still not sure where it's going to feed in, but I'm not too worried about it anymore. I've even thought about now a front mounted feeder where we just feed in through the top of our plexiglass here. And then whatever, that piece of plexiglass is exclusive to our uh, baby shark theme. And then if we ever change the theme around on this pachinko, all I gotta do is change out the plexiglass and then I never deface the machine, although having a proper feeder system would be ideal anyways. Take two. Well, 
Well, there we go. I like that bracket on the back there a whole lot better than that plastic piece we had the first time. Now everything's quick attach again the way we want it to be, except now this is wedged in there because I got to fix that hook. Let's fix that hook. Try this again. That's still a little tight, but we'll take care of that. Basket comes out, wing nut here and a wing nut here, and the rod comes right off. We'll do it one-handed here. Done, quick attach. So part of this all is going to be the crown of this pachinko, and it's going to be more bling, it's gonna be more lights. I want baby shark up in there. I don't think I'm gonna use this one though. We have a couple other ones. So I'm gonna use one that's not damaged on the tail or I'm just gonna use one that's more cosmetically appealing. That's gonna be part of the crown display. So it's going to be partly transparent. So I'm seeing it that we're gonna have checker plate up here, some lumber holding it all together, some plexiglass so you can see, and then also a display for our patchy counter. And then the marble run itself or the fever mode is gonna be sticking up top. So it's gonna be sticking up a ways up as well, part of the crown. And when you activate the fever mode, it's going to lift the ball up into the little marble run. You're gonna see it go through the little marble run and feed into our pachinko as the fever mode. That's the current plan anyways. Well, the graphics department came through on our pachinko build here, ongoing as it is, but our window to work on the pachinko has run out of time. It is summertime where I am, and we're on to other projects. The rest of this pachinko is going to have to wait, sadly, until the fall or after Halloween. As many of you all know, we go crazy on Halloween. So we're starting to get into our pre-Halloween season here, but you can see how progress on this pachinko machine has come. How far we've come this winter. Check those arcade graphics out, those arcade decals, sorry. That looks pretty darn sweet, I would say. So, what we're missing on our pachinko is the crown. And the crown actually is going to be one of the most complicated pieces that's going on here. It's going to be a little bit of checker plate, a little bit of uh, plexiglass. There's going to be a marble run contraption up top along with our Arduino and our ball counter is all going to be up in the display as well or up in the crown as well. These fancy arcade decals that we've got here. Of course, there's gonna be some cool lighting on the inside of that. You can see that our ball hopper has changed. I still gotta fix the hole because it, the balls don't quite feed in there the way I want it to. But other than that, this whole part of the upgrade is complete. And it's sad to say that it's gotta sit for a little bit, but I look very much forward to getting back to work on this pachinko. We'll see you all soon. Yep. Right there is a 77.
Yeah, I'm sitting here right now admiring how far we've come and how I could not have ever imagined that this project would have turned into what it did. But we are almost actually done now. Now, if you've been watching these pachinko build videos that I've made, I want to say it was like five or six episodes ago that I said, we're nearly done. <laughs> well, here's where we're at anyways. The cabinet is complete or as complete as it's going to get this weekend. There's still some fine tuning, some painting or staining to do here. Back onto the electronics and continuing the build.